Damn. I can't. I can't let him get away with this. Holy shit. Well, what's up? Welcome back. Episode 96. We're just going to continue. Uh, Ace is with the crew now. They're sailing to... I forget what it's called. I forget how to pronounce it. I took a dinner break between episodes. So I forget the place they're going to. But they're going there. So we're just going to see what happens. You know, we're going to continue. So... Alders, what business do you have here? We have to see the king. We're dying out here. <laughs> we're dying. We need Between help. Between the war and the drought, there's nothing to eat. Our crops and livestock are dead. My baby needs milk. There must be some in the palace. Stop pushing. You got milk. Sorry. We can't let you Feed it. <gasps> it's Jesus. Are you going to just stand there and do nothing? <laughs> <laughs> you call yourself a king. Fucking help us I'll out, bro. I have every right. Please come inside the palace. Tell me of your qualms, and I will listen. The only qualms. thing I can promise is that mark my words, though, I will return peace to this kingdom. Even if it takes my life to do so. Even if it kills me. Oh, this is an mm, I'm curious about that person with the, I hope the, you're the right li idea. lines on their face. I wonder where you are right now. They look doing unique. Very Ahoy there, mateys! <laughs> looks just like Usopp. <laughs> and who might you be, huh? <laughs> I am Rassi the Rice Man! Rassi the Rice Man, oh my Good god. <laughs> Alright. That's mop water, you idiots! We just oh my god. <laughs> what a nice breeze. Zoro accidentally hits him. Boom! Just out of here. Kado, I need you to go to Alabarna Palace and deliver Alabarna this letter to my father. Palace. It no. contains everything sound and in the company of brave friends willing to help us in our struggle. Is he gonna get like caught or something during the Can transaction? You do this for me, Kado? <laughs> <laughs> There's hope for this kingdom at last. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hydrate. Sprint. Crocodile trying to usurp the throne of Alabasta doesn't make sense. All right, let's set sail! Hold on! <laughs> Usopp's like, I'm not even on the fucking ship yet. Side to this takeover thing. Huh? Like some sort of what? deeper goal or something. Aces being Sherlock Holmes. Embraced its shadow since its inception. Ah, uh, I need more I just of her. Got a report. It's about the billion ships stationed in Nanohana. I keep they forgetting about her. Someone. I've already dispatched the lizard runners to contact our other agents. Oh my god, bro. They look so goofy. It's so dark in there, man. It's not good for his eyes. Says me in my dark room. Over a hundred degrees in the daytime. What? Please tell me you're joking. Tell me what happened. Where's your dancer outfit? You're all covered up. Because any exposed skin will get sunburned. You have to cover up in the desert. Took them long enough. Those outfits were so sexy. Put these on. I feel it. I feel it, Sanji. Time to drop anchor. Right. Right. One of those. The lizard? No. Turtle. Turtles? No, I think they're Walrus? seals. Seals? Yeah. Ha, ha. If you want to come ashore, you'll have to beat me first, but I doubt that'll happen, you bunch of. I love how Tony Chopper. Chop, chop, ch ch chopper, chopper Tony is being the translator. At first, I was like, they got the same voice as Chopper, but no. Nobody calls me a coward and gets away with it. <laughs> Here comes. Oh, Fujigongs are really strong. Hell yeah. See the That's bad too. They're endangered species. It's one of their rules. If they lose a kung fu match, they become the winner's pupil. You don't say. <laughs> 
Oh my god. They think you're their master now. Train us, Ma Sensei me. Luffy. Now punch. No. Like this. Now punch. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Hey, wait a minute! You're not bringing them with us! He just has a whole new crew now. You'll kill them. You can have this, but only if you guys stay here, okay? Eat Chopper! <laughs> so funny. No, they said they wanted to go with us. So why couldn't we let them? We don't have the food and water to take care of a group that big. I love the drum beats. Honestly, I don't know what we would have done if Chopper hadn't persuaded them to stay. Yeah, they could sing. They're just going crazy with it. Our food supply's gotten a lot That one. Dude. It was known far and wide as the city of green. It was green? Take Past a good tense. look around, everyone. Wow, there's nothing here at all anymore, huh? No, it's nothing but a ghost town now. But Death until a few and short destruction. Years ago, it was a thriving city full of gardens, palm trees, and lush greenery. This place? <laughs> rain was always This scarce place? Here. Even without rain, there was still the river as another water source. And it's close. Why couldn't they just pipe the water in from over there? That's the true. The answer to that is just up ahead. Is it like and illegal? <laughs> they need to create like a rain gutter system on all their buildings the people of the land called it the king's miracle at least they did until one particular day until crocodile showed up until that day oh that's all the rain dust all right what's he gonna do when it doesn't arrive on time this green powders for the king what is it what is it? Oh, How shit. the hell should we know? <laughs> How the hell should we know? Your king's orders. We're just couriers. Run! <laughs> it's gonna like flood the whole place, right? Wait a minute. Oh no, they gotta what burn it. Be? Never mind. It creates a misty smoke which rises into the sky. Once it reaches the clouds, it causes them to rain. In essence, it gives you the ability to create rain on the spot. Mm-hmm. Oh, Photosynthesis. So I don't get it. Wouldn't that stuff be perfect for a desert country like this? You'd think so. In fact, as its name suggests, the country that developed dance powder was happy What's enough to doing? dance. It got lots of rain. Stick the finger in the its dirt. Its neighboring country had a drought. Let me explain how it works. Now, the mist from the burned dance powder targets small clouds that aren't ready to rain yet. It artificially matures them into full rain clouds. He's like, Those I'm ready. Would have naturally grown into Piss on everybody. Clouds, when they were further downwind. Oh, I get it. It steals all the rain that would have normally gone to a neighboring country. That must have caused some big problems. Uh... Oh, it did. A war broke out between the two countries. Ever since then, the world government has instituted a worldwide ban on the production and possession of mm. dance powder. Even so, kind of makes sense. To show up I mean, I get the concept, but it's like, it makes happened, sense why it's illegal. So Alabarda's reign wasn't a miracle at all. It was a sham. Yeah, one that's left just parched and starving. This is all King Cobra's fault. Mm. Evie, that means your dad is the bad guy here. No, <laughs> you idiot. He was framed. <laughs> <laughs> her sweet dear old dad would never do such a thing. Her sweet dear old dad. Unfortunately, a large amount of dance powder was discovered inside his palace shortly thereafter. Huh. This is a mine. People working inside. I was just holding it for a friend. What is that? Is it the rebels? Or more of those creeps from Baroque works? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! The cries of the dead. No, it's just wind. Sounds like a voice, right? Oh man, it's coming from all directions. This isn't good. 
Ace, what are we gonna do? Bro, there's no danger. Usopp's so paranoid. It's, just the wind. it's like the city of Aramalu is wailing over what's happened to it. I'm so dry. Damn. Damn. A little tornado. Crocodile. No. Interesting. They're not living in the city. They were buried in it. In the entire country, even as they cheer him on. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh well. <laughs> Ace is like, that's feel, my man. brother. Usup walking like that, like he did something. Look at him. <laughs> Let's get moving, Kay. I'm itching to do this. I'm itching to do this. That's where the rebel Yuba. army is, right? Yuba? Yuba. I like their whole new attire. I like the changes per arc, it's cool. To be continued. It's great. I'm liking it. So it seems like Crocodile killed everyone that he... Like... Pretentiously saved. Uh, in that, that area that, that we've seen earlier in the, the beginning of this arc. So did he kill them? Probably not. But he he created the uh, the drought and environmental change that led to them dying, starvation, dehydration. Who knows? But I think that's what's happening. So he's looking like a hero to everyone, and then he'll leave, and then they get killed off, like by not being able to survive the environment. Is what I'm getting from it. Uh, I, I'm very. Yeah, I'm very curious just to see how all this folds out because as Vivi was talking, her dad and all of them are framed. Um, the, the dance powder is used. I don't know how to say it. By like the wrong people creating like chaos in the order, which is getting it banned. But I think that's part of probably crocodile strategy is to have that happen. Obviously, probably framing the dad and everything to have the dance powder fully uh, illegal banned, and then he's probably trying to like build it up and possess it a lot. I don't know, because it seems like he his powers relate to sand, because he caused like that sandstorm to happen. So I think he maybe wants more sand that might make him stronger. I don't know. I don't know, like. If he depends on more sand equals more strength, is he like Gara from Naruto? Sandman from Spider Man? Captain Hook from Peter Pan? Who knows? So many personas. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm very curious on like his end game and just more of the plot unfolding, revealing itself and everything because it's it's definitely interesting it, it's a it's a very good interesting story because this is like a it's like a 30 episode 30 30 or 32 episode arc so it, it's got a lot so it's going to be unfolding a lot too which is good uh it's going to have many layers to it so i'm very excited for that so yeah that's that's about it i'm liking this one a lot i like that like they're the clothing styles, how they change, like per the arcs and everything. And it's same arc. This is like their second outfit change that they've done. So I, I like the different adjustments and the themes and styles and everything. It's really cool. Yeah, that's that's about it for now. The monsters that oh, oh, I'm just going to skip that. I thought it was going to be over, but there's more to it. There we go. That's better. 
That's better. I don't know, man. The visuals look better. I think it looks gooder. <laughs> Chopper is out. It's because of all that fur. Why don't you take off that stupid I mean, yeah, Chopper does have it worse. What did you just say to me, big dog? Damn. Don't <laughs> monster. Chopper, don't turn yourself big, or I'm gonna quit pulling you. Who you calling a monster? You play That's no fair. Stick? You better take Shit's it easy heavy. on the nose, or I'll have to get tough. Turn I'll go, have to get tough. Hey, the desert doesn't seem to bother you much, Phoebe. Well, I was born and raised in this country, because so she's already hot. I'm used to it. <laughs> What's with all these hills? I was expecting a desert to be more flat. Oh man. Uh, feet high. Nine hundred feet. Oh my god. No. Pretty tall. That's... Pretty tall. <gasps> Don't drink so much. Idiot! You better save some of that water for Usa. Such a waste of water. Oh my god. Just spat all that shit out. Ace is being very silent right now. Is he annoyed by these guys? Your dinner will be ready in just a minute, Nami. Hey, that looks good. Get away from that! He does seem like he seems very like cool, calm, collected. And these guys are just arguing and bickering with each other twenty four seven. But he is also older too, so that is a factor. We're starving. Give us food. What happened? It was so hot all day, and now all of a sudden it's freezing. I know That's it's the desert, strange, baby. It's with nothing to act as insulation, it's scorching by day and freezing by night. Mm. The desert is full of unpredictable dangers. Never thought about the cloud aspect for that. That's cool. <sighs> Chopper. <laughs> He's like, I am comfortable now. Never been able to see this many before. I am way too cold to enjoy the stars <laughs> right now. Cold weather doesn't bother me. That's because you wear such a nice fur coat. Back up! It's not my fault you're all soft and fluffy. Monster! Chopper, don't turn big. We have to huddle for warmth. He can be big and huddle. That would be a strategy right there. this cozy? Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Two foot in his fucking mouth. <laughs> But shrimp don't live in a desert. Look at another shrimp. Scorpion, bro. Desert shrimp. A desert shrimp. I wonder if it's edible. Why not? Crawfish are edible, aren't they? I've never seen a real life shrimp yeah. before. Luffy, are you crazy? Get rid of that thing quick. Uh -uh. That would it's be poisonous. It's poisonous. The poison in its stinger can kill in seconds. Really? Chopper's like shit. You? Hey, now, keep that away from me. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned it earlier. That's for sure. I see flying sand. What's wrong? What's going on, Chopper? Is it Captain Hook? Something's coming and quick. Gross. Is it me? <laughs> Something like what? It is Captain Hook. <laughs> it looks like the wind is picking up. Oh, I don't know. I'm just it, theoretically, it'd be cool if. Ace and Crocodile got in a fight and like he shot sand at Ace but then Ace you know shot fire at him and then that collision would make that into glass because fire and sand create glass you're welcome you learned something today <laughs> it would just be cool it'd be cool It's Everyone! sand. That's a very aggressive storm. Okay. Enough with the sand already. I'm not impressed anymore. <laughs> not impressed anymore. You feel Vivi would be more prepared for that. But who knows how long she's been out of Alabasta. Not phased. Damn it, Luffy. Hey, Sanji, 
There's people? Or is that them? Not until Vivi says so. Come on, Vivi, how it's about them. Let's eat. Doesn't that sound good? But we're not even a tenth of the way to Yuba, Luffy. A and tenth we have of to the way, damn. Last the whole proverb. Make sure you eat whenever you're hungry. <laughs> Quit making things up, you big Wait. <laughs> now just hold on. Hey, you started late. <laughs> I win. Idiot. Oh my god. You said the winner carries all. Now shut up and haul. Make sure you don't drop anything. <sighs> yeah, that is. He kind of screwed himself over. The loser should carry all, but he made the rules. Hey guys, I spotted rocks dead ahead. You mean it? It's lunch. I do like it's cool because it's like Usopp got those goggles a couple arcs back ago, Logtown, uh, and I like seeing it many arcs, many episodes later. You know they're still utilizing it, so it's very it's very cool. Like the items they get. They're definitely utilized all throughout. Mirage? Oh shit. Dude, Luffy and Giant Birds. I feel like this is the third time he's had this encounter. What? Are they having an orgy? Definitely sounds like an orgy. Yeah, they just got done having a bird orgy. Hey, say something. I'll go get you a injured bird here. The can't move. We need a doctor. Chopper. <laughs> Chopper's like, somebody say doctor. <laughs> Bro, I love how so on it he was. What birds? Wait a minute, Luffy. Those birds might not be what you think they are. Is it a trap? Oh man, they fooled him. We've been had. What if soggy birds are desert bandits that deceive travelers and steal their belongings? <laughs> desert God, bandit bandits, birds. That's you so mean funny. These birds play dead. My fault. Those birds tricked me. <laughs> you dolt, is that all you have to say for yourself? You dolt. Were, how are we supposed to get across this wasteland without food or water? You're not. You're, you're gonna die. You mean you're dumber than a bird? <laughs> you're dumber than a bird. Put it out of our minds for now. Yeah, that's a good idea because when I think about it, I get really thirsty. I wonder if it'd be more strategical for them. I mean, I don't know how super cold it gets at night, but like try and find some shade during the day, try to sleep in it, stay in it, rest, and then at nighttime do most of the hiking, traveling because it'll be cold, but you'll. I don't know. I, I feel it just it wouldn't be as exhausting because once you travel so much, you warm your body up and everything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. They're back. They're wearing the bags. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, that's so funny. <laughs> They're fucking like laughing about it. Is it another trap? Get back here, you dope Boy's gonna be lost again. Did he get one? Or is it something else? It's something else. Is it like a giant sandworm? Like Dune? Kinda. It's a giant sand plant. I forget what they're called. Fly traps. And that is the end of Monkey D. Luffy. Rejoice! He is reborn. What is this thing? He is alive. Mystery desert plant? Man, that is so cool! <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god, bro. What are you doing? The sounds are just so funny. He's like, I'm trying to not fucking die, bro. You want me to help you? Okay, gum gum. Yeah, I think that's the camel that helped uh, Chopper.
the Scooby Doo camel. Like so, pal, how'd you manage to get stuck out in the desert all by yourself? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> More? Is it the boss plant? What is it? <laughs> He's like, shit, it's back. It's like a sand kraken. Release, release the Kraken! Hurry it up. Um, you don't suppose he could be lost, do you? He's dead. Luffy died. And there are still so many desert dangers I haven't had a chance to warn him about yet. Not to mention the moron was hungry. You know, nothing against Vivi. But she should have, like, had an itinerary of everything to warn these guys about before venturing into the desert. But also, to be fair, as soon as they arrived at Alabasta, it's been chaos after chaos after chaos so there's never a downtime to you know really go over and plan everything so uh again retracting everything i initially said that guy is so hopeless you can say that again that guy is so hopeless i'm sorry i apologize <laughs> good luck finding him yeah <laughs> oh shit Watch Luffy be riding it. What he already tamed it. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, you could call it. Storm? Is he? Oh no. no He's way. riding the camel? The camel's like, fuck, bro. It's Luffy's okay. having fun, but the no. camel's not. Huh? Talk about shaking, Jesus. What? Chasing him? I can't really tell, but it looks like there's something in the sand burrowing after him. Good call, Zoro. Good job. Looks like tremors. Is that a frog? What is that? It's a Sandora dragon! It's a what? Sandora dragon! Dora dragon. They wait under the sand. That thing's fucking huge. Bro, this shaky screen's right, giving me like shaking baby it. syndrome. Crap star was <laughs> it is fucking with me. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the camel's like <laughs> You didn't have to go that far. Oh, that's so fucking cool, man. Like everyone has their own epic cooldown moment. Cause you know like all epic samurai moments where like they just get their, their sword and they're like Whoosh, and like close it, like Sanji's putting his foot down, Luffy's done being stretchy like retracting his stretch and then Zoro does the it's so cool all oh, right oh yeah there it is so cool whenever those guys fight it almost makes me feel sorry for the monsters monster started it another is it a bigger one it's like you beat up my son. I must have forgotten to mention that Sandora dragons always hunt in pairs. Get with it. Yeah, Vivi needs to get with it, man. Ace, Ace is gonna do it. A lot of pests in these deserts. You wanna play? A lot of pests. <laughs> Alright. Burn his insides. Holy shit, he fucking did it! He fucking did it! Bro, Ace is so epic. Dinner's already cooked. <laughs> Bro, I am calling everything. That's so funny. It's convenient. These rocks are just like a natural <laughs> frying pan. Dinner's already cooked. So it was getting eaten by the mystery plants while I was chasing those birds. It's obviously not a wild camel. No, not Camel's like, I'm right here, bro. 
Chopper's buddy. <laughs> Fucking makes me think of Scooby Doo, bro. It looks like he could carry two. Camels do go hand in hand with deserts. Great, I'll take the first ship. Yes, they do. Ow. I'm a freedom loving, hard boiled yet compassionate son of the desert. I'm very grateful <laughs> to you for having helped me out of that jam back there. And I'll be glad to give some of you a ride, but I'm afraid I don't accept male passengers. <laughs> male passengers. Wow, we got. We got a Sanji camel. I'm so sorry that my crewmates are a bunch yeah. of ill-bred louts. Now, what should we call you, you great big precious camel, you idiot, moron, doofus? <laughs> I'll watch it is, then. Uh, no, I'm fine. I can still walk. Thanks. Just get on. Pervert camel. Pervert, Pervert camel. <laughs> <Pervert> <laughs> It's just so funny, bro. They're all shaming the camel. Like, they're all like, pervert, idiot. So fucking funny. <laughs> they're like, boo, you suck. That's so funny. Oh my god. That's so funny. As fast as we can, so we'll be able to talk to the rebel army. Giddy up, eyelash. Fucking Scooby Doo, bro. Like this side of Nami too. What else is new? After them, hurry! Chopper, hop on. Wait, wait for us. To be continued after a cliffhanger moment. A little teaser. Who are we gonna see? A boat in the desert. That's awesome. That's gonna be cool, man. We're about to see it. You know, we're about to we're about to go into it. A a ship that sails in the sand. I'm curious to see how though. There there has to be some cool contraption that maybe spins that like propels it forward or something. I don't know. That's really cool. Not much to talk about in this episode. It was just, you know, it, it's a part of the arc. It's not like a, a filler side quest thing. It's just along their journey. But I just love how badass the guys are. It's like Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji are the, the powerhouses of the crew. And I love how just like they're always equally beaten ass. So they're great. I like the camel. He's funny. He makes me think of Scooby-Doo. Ace, he's a fucking boss. I just love how he always OPs like one hit everyone. It's so cool. I just His fi fire ability is super awesome. But yeah, that's that's about it. We're going into the next episode. We're just going straight into it. We're going straight into it. We're skipping the intro. We're going straight into it. And we're skipping... Oh my fucking god. Why doesn't I ever skip this? Let's try it again. There we go. There we go. We're all good. Thanks, Sorrel. This heat is too much for me. Now don't blame yourself. It's stifling. Nami, it's stifling. You when you abandoned me in the desert. Jesus Christ. Uh, what's wrong, Luffy? Uh, I think uh so here's my theory. They're gonna come across that pirate ship that's sailing in the sand. They're gonna have a fight with them, maybe, or tag along. I don't know. They could be good guys, bad guys, neutral, but that ship's gonna have resources on it. That's where they're gonna get the replenishments of food and drinks. Yep, calling it. This is a lot easier thanks to you, Eyelash. <laughs> Anything for my right? dear ladies. Of course, all they have to do is follow our footprints. That wind's covering that shit up in a second, dude. Here's the ship. Tsunami! Uh, what is it now? Tsunami. What's the matter? But he didn't listen. He said he was so thirsty he couldn't stand it anymore, so he chomped down on some of that cactus growing back there to uh, the moisture. I was gonna say he drank his yeah. own piss. Ah, you gotta be kidding! Those are mescal cacti! They're used to make hallucinogenic drugs! Oh shit! Luffy's tripping right now. <laughs> Bro, that's so cool though. Bring it on if you got the guts. <laughs> He's going berserk mode from fucking Django's spell on him all the way on Syrup Village Arc. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> S 
sleepy. Oh, that's nice. How did how did Ace get separated? Damn, they must be miles away by now. It's yeah, just in their blood. The are disappearing. Getting lost. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Ace for a while either. Oh great. Bro, these people suck at paying attention. I bet she got separated from us. <laughs> Sorry. My big uh. brother's kind of a flake. <laughs> <laughs> Says Luffy. Show it. Show the ship. Umbrellas. Does it use umbrellas to have the wind carry it? Like, it does. A pirate ship? Kind of. Hey guys, bad news. That's Nami cool. Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, and the camel too. Luffy's <laughs> like you fuckers. Uh, I love berserk mode, Luffy. Give me water. Oh my god, bro. Luffy's biggest weakness is food and sleeping. I feel Luffy is always defeated by himself falling asleep. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> So he's probably going to be sleeping. There's going to be a little battle and everything. And then he's going to wake up when it's over. And he's like, food? And then, like, just go back to normal. Strange. I thought I heard something. You did. What? Holy shit. That should be you easy. Asked for it. Yeah, right? Okay, that was so I thought. Bad. I was just so thirsty, I must have miscalculated. He's like, you lady, asked for you it. Some water. Hold on a sec, are you saying you didn't come here to rescue us? Hey, I was really thirsty, what can I tell you? Well, you've got to do <laughs> something. They're going to eat Eyelash. You're kidding, you can eat him? Let's see him, what's this guy look like? There we go. I knew there's an umbrella on his we, head. We, the Barbar Sand Pirates, have a saying. Saying? With the this is the third time for the voice. This is the guy, forgive me, he was only in like two episodes. It starts with a G, right? The Jack in the Box guy. I always forget his name. I always call him Jack in the Box. So it was Jack in the Box and then the Vikings, one of the Viking on Little Garden Arc. And now this guy, same voice actor. The exception of friends, there's nothing alive in the desert that can't be eaten. Not complaining, <laughs> I just like, I, even need stuff I like noticing. Ugh. Ugh. Sick. <laughs> Bro, I love how like even villains are like, Ugh, that's a bit too far. Like you'll get sick, dude. Like that shit's so funny. Alive in the <laughs> right on, I even need stuff straight off the ground. Ugh. You'll get sick. <laughs> Hey, I'm careful. That's so funny, bro. I'm careful. Funny little squirt. <laughs> You're pretty funny yourself. Oh, okay, man. let's. I am Barbarossa, captain of the Barbar Sand Pirates. Barbarossa. And your name's Luffy, huh? Ah. Please let me apologize for being so That's why it sounds familiar. It's just that we're all so hungry, we got carried away. He's gigantic, by the way. Captain of the Barbar Sand Pirates, and your name's Luffy, huh? Please let me apologize for being so rough with your friend. Look how big he is. That's huge. He said Barbarossa, and it made me think of Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. And without a main mast, the ship isn't going to be going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, what do we do? If we don't Bunch do something idiots. soon, we're going to wind up dying like dogs in the middle of this desert. What do we do? Are born right here on our ships, and Bro. we'll die here as well. This guy's a huge. Sand pirate would never think of abandoning ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll die right here on a ship. We'll die right here on a ship. 
Oh my god. Who are these guys? Well, yeah, Usopp's like, these guys are idiots. And we sand pirates will never do anything to defy the flow of the sand. He's just burning everything up. You can't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. Hmm? He's like, you want a lift? Five dollars. What the fuck? Huh? And where's that? I'll be glad to dash over and get it. Hmm, bad idea. The sands have changed lately. Bad it's idea. Too dangerous for outsiders. I caused this. I'll take care of it. <laughs> All right, you're on. You can use this sand sled to bring back the lumber. Oh shit, that is so cool. These sleds carry two. Who will you take? Hey, don't worry. I'll be fine alone. Oh, uh, come on now. This is no time to get caught. He's gonna take Vivi. It looks like it might be tough going. You want me to come along? <laughs> huh? Oh. Huh? Another female. And she's agile. Very impressive, Rasa. Rasa. I like oh, I like that her umbrella was closed, but then it opened up. Outlanders. But you're from here. Oh, how could she tell? By the way, is it me? Or do you agree? This upcoming sound, it makes me think of Naruto. Which I've I've only watched Naruto series and I'm like five, six episodes deep into Shippuden, but I I stop. Not because I'm bored of it or anything, but I can only juggle so much at a time. I got only two hands. I got these tiny hands. Um Burger King commercial, if you don't get the reference. But it's about to come up where it's like, bah. I don't I, I can't make the fucking sound effect, but it makes me think of Naruto because it's very similar to like the Naruto background music sounds. Rasa. These this. others. Oh, how could she tell? I'll wager you've had some experience with the yeah. sand sled. Makes me think of Naruto. Which means you. All right. I'll be glad to go. Hmm. Huh. So these huh. travel on sand? How does it work? I'll pilot the sled. I did it once long ago. It's not long too ago. From a ship. This goes here, right? Bro, that thing fucking shot off. Oh, he came back. Oh, he's pushing it. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Bro. You take it easy there, Luffy, all right? Now, let's see. Oh my god. Zaba, let's go. Talk about whiplash, bro. Are they gonna have like a friendly race? We can always eat the camel. Second. I'm just kidding. It's like, why me? Didn't sound like you were kidding to me. Damn. Aggressive. Hey, Rosa, what are you doing? What is she doing? Is she testing her? That's the quickest quicksand I've ever seen. She does know her. Yeah, I'll never forget her. Oh shit! Did she steal her boyfriend as kids in elementary school? Happens a lot. Happens a lot. No! Watch out! Gum gum. Despite how he seems, you can always count on Luffy in a pinch. Huh? What's that? What is that? People? Creatures? Are they the lizard things from Ace? Did he raise an army of lizards to lead them the way? Oh, no. Those aren't lizards. Or Ace. They're bandits? 
of sad camels. Confidence them! They found us! Off the starboard they found side! Us. Battle stations, everyone! There they are. Oh my god. Want to get my way too, pal? <laughs> Make my day. That's so much wasted liquid. There must be hundreds. Who are they? That is a They're shitload of them. Bandits. A desperate bandit they are bandits. Who are always at everyone in the desert seems to be on edge. <laughs> now that you can't run away, we've got you when we want you. <laughs> now that you can't <laughs> run away from me. <laughs> Usopp's over it. There's that poop ball. What's that? It's a giant poop ball. Oh my god. I just thought it was like what <laughs> I'm thrown off because like typically with these moments like One Piece focuses on like those tiny creatures that are like climbing up hill hills or whatever. like like in Serp Village Arc that little crab that was trying to go up the the rock wall and it kept falling and there's like another scene of something similar so I thought it was something like this but it turns to be a giant beetle with a giant tur dung ball. They're desert bugs that haul enormous balls of dung. Over a hundred people a year are squished by their rolling balls. Damn, it kills people. <laughs> Bro, that is so funny. I'm just killing their own with it. Captain, that it's a giant shit ball. Excrement. Is right excrement. <laughs> He's got to block it. He's not afraid of germs. Ironic, though, is like he was disgusted by Luffy eating anything off the ground. Like, ooh, that's kind of gross. And he's just getting hands deep into this giant dung ball. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Split in half. Or many pieces. There's just gonna be shit everywhere. He's like cleaning his shoes. Thank you, my friends. I do love in One Piece general, like they always have like build up moments and they're just like, nah, like you're nothing. Like it's just so fucking funny because you think they're about to be cool epic or dramatic and it just then the comedic aspect just slams you it's so funny <laughs> we'll let you off easy this time your lives are spared for now what so they only rely on the dung ball to what do the work ball? interesting Rosa, was... i'm not gonna wait around for her if she can't keep up it's not our job to look for her damn they're back, baby. Oh, he's grabbing theirs. Nice. Yeah, shit your pants. There's that jet sound effect. This whole oasis is covered in sand. You're in a One desert, a bro. Flourishing city. It was a very long time Aww. ago, though. There they are. I stopped here once with my father when I was there. There she is. That's the girl. I was traveling around the country. She had a gift for her. And Ish. I've been waiting all this time. So this is her hometown. Back then, the king made this town a promise. If anything should happen to this oasis, I will come rushing to help. The kingdom won't ignore any voice, no matter how small. But he didn't help, and he did ignore the voices. Then you were that girl. Eventually, this oasis was buried in sand. Ah, uh, she's doing the pose again, like she was little. Every last person in town left, but not me. I stayed behind and waited for you. 
Mm. I believed in you. But the king never came. Gross. And neither did you. Ugh, gross. But that's the same thing was happening to towns and cities all over the country. And the king was busy every day trying to deal with a nationwide crisis. Don't I still make false promises. Excuses. Not the scorching heat of the midday sun, or the freezing cold of night. The fact that I was still alive baffled Aww. me. Life was so difficult and I was all by myself, so what exactly was I waiting for? Just what was it that kept me going for all those hard years? Hope. Was it hatred? Why did I stay here? Somebody tell me! I, I just did. I, I told you. Oh, her little self's looking up at her. What's Luffy looking at? What do you see, Luffy? They sure ran off in a hurry. Was he just it's looking really up at nothing? Guys always it distracted. Been nice to steal all of their food and water first. I guess the pirates <laughs> have it rough too. It belongs to no one and so is free itself. Like the ocean? That's a good exactly. Question. Nice, they made it back. Cool, cool. Ace. Where the hell are you now? Hey, he's riding the lizard. Luffy! Where are you? I like that epic. Everyone constantly getting lost, bro. I'm a mess. I know it. I need a shave. I need a shower. And I'm, I need to reevaluate my life in general. I just got home from the gym. Okay. Okay. Give me a break. Give me a break. So, but I had to do these two episodes. I'm going to throw them together. I'm going to throw them on Patreon. YouTube won't see this for many, many months. Eh, probably a, two, a month, two months maybe from now. I don't know. Um, but better reason to go on Patreon. Anyways, it's good. I'm liking this. I like this. It makes me curious, like... By the end of this, is Vivi gonna take over Alabasta, like, rolling it? Because, like, I don't want to, like, say her dad seems incompetent. But overall, it just seems like he is struggling. Like, you know, he's getting framed. He's got all these opposing forces and everything. And he's just like, I'm fucking screwed, man. I'm, I'm trying my best, but I can't do shit. I hope my daughter's okay. So I feel Vivi's gonna be bringing in luffy and the gang they're gonna beat some ass and like uh yeah they're gonna fix alabasta start it all over on a good healthy path and then maybe at the end of this arc vivi's gonna stay so like she might just be done not like not like done with the group but she's like i'm gonna stay here and help rebuild to how things used to be and make it better and make sure it never happens again Something like that. That's what I'm thinking. So I don't think your dad will be killed off or anything. I just think he'll give the power to her to rule, maybe. He's like, he'd be like, I always knew you would be the one to save Alabasta. Here, take the crown. Take the throne. I'm going to go chill. This is all your responsibility now. So he's on retirement vacation till he dies. But, hmm, yeah, I think next episode, it's just going to be them on that sand ship now, doing a nice little fast travel. Uh, and then they're probably by, I don't know, maybe some backstory or whatever, or some another side little fun quest with them. And then by the end of that episode, they'll find, they'll, they'll arrive wherever they need to be and then continue the story. That's it. I don't know. I, I'm excited for more action to happen. I'm not bored or anything. I'm perfectly entertained these these two episodes have been very comedic and i hope you could tell because i've been laughing i've been laughing so yeah i'm i'm just i love some deep theories and some oh shit writing moments so i can't wait to like learn more about like the civil war concept and like why um 
crocodiles wanting to do all this and all of that. Like, I can't wait for just more of that to be revealed and everything. So, I'm patiently watching. And so are you. You're being more patient, you know? You gotta deal with me slowly uploading and posting to me being patient of getting to some oh shit crazy moments. Yeah, sorry. But Ace, Ace is awesome. I'll never stop saying it. I don't know, I feel like I had like a Boston accent right there. I never stop, I don't know, I can't even do it now. My tongue got all stuck. I'll never stop saying it. I'll never stop saying it. Look at me talking proper. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. If that sounded like a fart, that was my chair. It's very... It's squeaky and everything. Like, this this side, like, cracks. Wait, I, I got, like, a bolt missing. Let's see. It's not doing it. I know I look, like, way off, but usually... Oh. There we go. There, right, there we go. Okay, now we're all the way off. Yeah, like this thing. I need a new chair. I had this for a couple years. <sighs> what time is it? 11.30. I got to shower. <clears throat> go to bed. I got to work tomorrow. So I'm going to edit this. Briefly edit it. Throw it on Patreon. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, what's, what's that guy's name? Um, Vivi's mentor buddy. He's a lol. Oh, 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 oh whatever i forget his name but he died in the atomic atomic bomb by miss sunday miss sunday i miss her i miss she could blow me up i don't care i like it anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys in episode 99 i, I gotta do something for 100 because this weekend i'll be doing 100 i don't know i'll have to figure it out Got to celebrate for the hundredth episode. Okay, bye.